questions? Yes. Mr. Chairman, uh, a question just about the timing of all of this. Uh, when you're talking about a two-tiered system of justice, if I'm not mistaken, August 7th, 2020, Bill Barr was the Attorney General and Donald Trump was the President. So explain to me where the two-tiered system of justice comes into play. And then the WhatsApp message you have, I believe, is dated June 6, 2017. Joe Biden is not Vice President or even a candidate for President at that time. So where is the direct connection to some sort of criminal malfeasance within these two pieces of evidence? Well, I think the facts speak for themselves. There's over 700 pages of examples of where people should be very concerned. When you're talking about um, uh, the – what was your first question? The timing of this is August 7, 2020. Bill Barr is the attorney general. Oh. Donald Trump's the president. Yeah, and Leslie Wolf is a career employee. She was not a political appointee, and she was the one obstructing the investigation. It doesn't matter who's in the White House. We need to make sure that the Department of Justice works for all people and doesn't treat those who are politically connected or wealthy much differently. And unfortunately, we have several examples that came forward by the two IRS whistleblowers that proves that people are treated differently because they're politically connected. Joe Biden being the president now is unfairly treating Donald Trump in his indictment? What I'm talking about is the 700 pages that we have before us, which is all the information that came from the IRS whistleblowers, and that's what we're releasing right now. And I'll tell you, I would encourage everyone in this room to look at those 700 pages. If you think it's okay with what's in it, then we live on two different planets. Can you explain the timing then of the August 6th WhatsApp message? Why is that evidence of some wrongdoing? I'm not an expert on the timeline. I would love to have um, President Biden and his family to tell us about all the timelines because it's really, really uh, unfortunate that we see so many meetings and so many phone calls uh, that involved uh, around official activity that the vice president has been participating in and then big sums of money follows later but if he's through. Not the president or the vice president at that time, where, where's the wrongdoing? He was even a he was a candidate. In, on, in August 6th. So apparently, uh, apparent, what source are you with? I'm with NBC. So apparently, you'll never believe us. I'm not um, believe but you. That, I'm asking you for, I'm asking you a very direct question. You presented a piece of evidence that you say came on August 6th, 2017, that demonstrates that Joe Biden was using political influence to help his son. Which he wasn't a political figure at that time. The first WhatsApp message you put up. Where, is it where you talk about the brand, and I'm not, I, I'm here, I'm, my, my, I'm completely open-minded about this. I'm asking you specifically, how does that demonstrate that there's some sort of political influence being put over him if at that time he is not a political, he's not an elected official? I'm definitely not going to pinpoint one item. I think we've outlined you it. You're, numerous. The first thing that you brought up. So apparently you don't agree with it, so report that, that you disagree with it. it. I'll take the next question. Yes. 